Greetings and welcome everyone to this news update. I am the Engineer and we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, the topics for today are as follows. Uh, thousand kilometer range EV battery claim, uh, another one. Uh, Aptera myths debunked number four. 6k units to profitability. Lucid gets a loan. Fisker deal with a large automotive company falls through. And things that I liked. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in here. IM Motors says its new L6 model will feature solid state batteries with over a thousand kilometers of range. This thousand kilometers of range, uh, something like 680-ish, 600-ish, I'll put it up here, uh, miles of range, uh, is pretty impressive honestly um, if they can make it make it happen uh, it's built on a quasi 900 volt architecture apparently um, IM Motors the electric vehicle arm of SAIC Motor Group uh, by the way SAIC Motor Group is a group of folks that are uh, the largest uh, producer of electric vehicles in China uh, in 2022 they sold more than 5.3 million vehicles ranking first in China for the 17th year in a row so these are a big uh, this th this company is a heavy player in the Chinese EV market um, at any rate um, the electric vehicle uh, will uh, be called the IML6 with a solid-state battery that will give the vehicle range of more than a thousand kilometers the IM6, uh, sorry, the IML6 will be built on the 900 volt, volt architecture platform, which I mentioned a little earlier, and will be the industry's first to carry an ultra fast charging solid state battery in production vehicle. Um, you can see the little shape of the cells here. They're uh, basically almost like really thin bricks, like laid down and stacked together. So yeah, that'll be a fun uh, situation uh, for thermals. Anyway. Uh, IM Motors CEO said on Weibo today, uh, today being the 25th of March, which was yesterday actually, uh, as of the recording of this video. Let's see. Uh, uh, he emphasized that the more than 1,000 kilometer range will be realized on a four-wheel drive version, which means a combination of ultra-long range and performance. All right, so he's going for performance and long range, uh, which should be interesting. I'm guessing that when he's um, when this vehicle is on the highway, uh, here's the vehicle in question. Uh, it will be using mostly um, either front wheel or rear, rear wheel drive to save on uh, battery usage. But uh, when you're really trying to go, when you're trying to do like your zero to sixty pulls or whatever, it'll probably engage that second set of motors. Um, yeah. Anyway. Uh, nanoscale um, solid state electrolysis um, and uh, things of that nature other patented technology they have is going to make the uh, battery more efficient uh, higher voltage faster charging like basically all the great things are gonna happen in this battery so see how that goes how that works out uh, whether or not this actually comes to market um, but this is not the first company nor will it be the last to claim a thousand kilometers of range um, without actually testing anything that I that we've seen um, of course Aptera is an exception because they've been testing a real version of their vehicle well, a uh, prototype version of their vehicle on the roads and they get that 10 uh, sorry 100 watt hours per mile situation so yeah anyway i'm waiting to see the tests for these other guys to see if they can actually pull uh the 600 miles that they're claiming because 600 miles while not a thousand miles is still very impressive aptera put out their myths debunked number four video uh where they talked about their their solar panels in relation to other solar panels and how much stronger and more uh, robust they are. Uh, they talked about how easy it is to park the Aptera, which was 
uh, a pretty fun experience watching Chris like expertly park the Aptera. I can tell that man's been putting a lot of hours behind the wheel because it is probably such a very fun vehicle to drive. Uh, I know very much so that it was a very fun vehicle to ride in. Um, they also talked about, uh, right about here, here. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Uh, right about here, they talked about how easy it is to get out of parking spaces in the Aptera. Um, you can essentially can't can't the wheel completely over and miss uh, what would have normally been a curb check because of the third wheel in the center. Um, yeah, other stuff they talked about in the video as well. I would advise going ahead and watching uh, the entire video, the four minute and eleven second video, and um, yeah, it was a great it was a great. Uh, addition to their Misty Bunch uh, videos because they did a fantastic job of adding to um, a list of things that I was wondering about, which I'm sure means that other people were wondering about as well. During an interview with the uh, Aptera Owners Club, they let it rip that the Aptera will need 6,000 units per year to be profitable. Talosa VV and uh, a lot of other channels, channels locked on to this fact and uh, loved it very much. Uh, including myself. It is essentially amazing to see that there is a company out there that is looking at 6,000 units per year for profitability. There is no other company on the planet that's even close to that from an automotive perspective. Um, yeah, I think the lowest that I've ever seen for profitability of a company was like 150,000 vehicles to uh, profitability. And uh, yeah, Aptera's 6,000 is like it. It actually breaks my brain a little bit, and it's a little bit hard to believe. But seeing how Aptera manages their finances and how little it's taken them to get as far as they are, I don't doubt for a moment that 6,000 vehicles is something that is reasonable for them to reach a point of. Uh, profitability. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see how their their ramp up is and how um, quickly they actually make it to profitability. But 6,000 units is bananas, and it it's it confuses me and delights me every time. Lucid Group announces an investment of one billion dollars by an affiliate of PIF. Uh, PIF is a uh, Saudi investment group. Uh, that is the largest in the world currently at 925 billion US dollars under management. Um, yeah, they've got a very large portfolio. Um, they've created 93 companies. Uh, they've thrown a billion dollars at Lucid. And I am going to say again that it is very uh, sad to me that none of this um, money went to Aptera or none of their money has gone to Aptera as of yet because it would take pennies compared to what Lucid needs to get going and uh, I am going to continue to reiterate the fact that even though Aptera is in talks with a bunch of uh, people to get their uh, their company funded it is still a little bit galling a little bit agitating every time a company that is using a lot more money to do um, a lot less gets more money than what Aptera has received from large investors at this time so yeah just throwing that out there, it, it, it still burns my biscuits a little bit, but I understand that there's some stuff in the pipeline that Aptera is uh, deciding on uh, in order to get their way to production uh, in a way that benefits them best. At any rate, um, back to Lucid, because I totally ran off on a tangent there. Uh, we are extremely pleased to receive this strong continued support from PIF as we work to solidify our place as the world's leading EV technology company. I'm sure you are very pleased because a uh, billion dollars is no small amount of money and I am fairly certain that Lucid did not have a lot of money to uh, play around with. So um, yeah, it is good for them. They say that they'll continue to invest for long term in both uh, their technology and their vertically integrated manufacturing capabilities. Um, yeah, PIF is uh, pledged to be a key of, uh, uh, oh goodness. PIF is uh, set to be a uh, key investor in their company for some time in the future. Uh, I'm not sure how long in the future this will be, but uh, yeah, it, it seems like Lucid is going to be okay for at least a little while longer. In not so happy EV news, Fisker's future is in doubt after a deal with the major automaker falls through. 
Um, theoretically, they had uh, a bit of a, um, a falling out, maybe, or a, um, a Nissan coming uh, to a uh, different conclusion than what they would have hoped. Uh, let's see here. In the article, it says that with its survival in question, Fisker announced it would seek a partnership with a major automaker and slash its staff by 15%. The next day, Reuters reported that Fisker was closing in on a deal with Nissan, which involved 400 million investments, uh, sorry, 400 million in investments and a partnership to build electric pickup trucks. That has since fallen through, apparently, and uh, the New York Stock Exchange did not look very favorably upon this issue, as Fisker has been uh, delisted from the New York Stock Exchange, which is kind of a big deal. Uh, because that means that their shares are below one dollar. Um, Fisker is not dead yet, but they are not okay. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes, but it seems like their uh, prospects are looking kind of grim. And I, uh, while I didn't necessarily have much uh, of a positive opinion on their products, I do believe that with time they might have been able to make something. Uh, a little bit better than what they had and I believe any competition is good competition uh, because it forces the rest of the market to look at themselves and do better um, well I don't know about any competition well, well we'll say that good competition makes everything better for the consumer and so uh, the fact that Fisker is falling out uh, may be a net negative moving forward but we'll have to see how the market moves and all of that jazz so and now for things that I liked uh, for the first thing that I like today uh, drive the lightning put out a very fun video called will Aptera be your only EV um, I guess I will reply to them in this video as well as in the comment section of their video if you haven't checked it out please go do that but uh, the Aptera is not going to be my only EV. Theoretically, uh, my ideal garage has uh, an Aptera in, on one side and then a Model 3 on the other. Uh, we'll see how that goes, if that's a thing that actually happens. Um, if uh, Aptera puts out the four-wheel vehicle by the time we're in the market for a new vehicle, um, then we might have just two Apteras sitting in the garage, but that's going to be uh, beautiful. Uh, two EVs is going to be our limit for the time being until our kids get old enough to uh, drive and we'll see how that goes from there. Um, yeah man, so uh, really appreciated their video. It was very fun, very in-depth. As you can see, he has a picture of him sleeping in the Aptera. Um, yeah, good times man. The next video in the things that I liked was a Telosa video that uh, compared the Aptera and the Cybertruck, which is funny because I said something to the effect of Aptera uh, was similar to the Cybertruck in its aerodynamicness um, compared to other trucks in the Cybertruck's case, but compared to other anything in the Aptera's case. But anyway, I mentioned the fact that they both had an emphasis on efficiency to the point that uh, to a point that no other car company really did and it's good to see that Aptera uh, oh sorry it's good to see that Taylosev actually agreed with that as well and made a video uh, about all of the differences uh, sorry all of the similarities and uh, things that I didn't notice about why they are similar vehicles uh, if you haven't seen that bad boy check it out I highly recommend it all right, that'll be it for this news update. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am once again the Ninjaneer. If you like this video, please do all of the youtube -y things, and I will catch you next time. Hello, greetings, and welcome, everyone, to this news video. I am the Ninjaneer, and I'm going to go ahead and put that to the side because I almost knocked it over, and it is made of glass. That would have been very sad. Uh, let's go ahead and try that again.